Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm gonna be chopping off all my hair. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Sarah, what the heck? Why do you want to chop all your hair off? Is this a mental emotional breakdown? Um, is this a midlife crisis? Are you going through a breakup? Like, what's going on? It's none of those things. It's just pure regret. Um, so, as you guys remember, a few months ago, maybe like five, six months ago now, I permed my hair. And I did it with the intention of becoming a sew-in girl. I was like, I'm going to be a sew-in and leave-out girl. And then I tried to sew-in on myself once, and I was like, mm, this is, this is not the life for me. Don't want to do it. And so, that idea failed and quite frankly that was literally the only reason why i wanted to perm my hair i was going to be a sewing girl i was going to do it myself because i didn't want to pay anyone to do it for me but then i realized how difficult it was and i was like mm, do i really want to do this again probably not and then aside from that it's just like permed hair is just really boring for me for me relaxed hair was really boring on me i was just like i can't do anything but wear it straight or curled and then i didn't take into account that my hair is extremely even i didn't even have enough product um or a relaxer to even like properly relax my entire head uh so this side of my head was super puffy because the the, my hair didn't take the relaxer well because I didn't have enough. This side of my hair was like bone straight and it just looked dumb. And then also as somebody who is a lazy natural, I should have known that I would not have the bandwidth, the willpower, or even the desire to take care of my hair while it was relaxed. I mean, I'm not, I don't like it. I don't like relaxed hair on me. I want to start over and... I mean, I kind of said that in the video where I relaxed my hair where I was kind of just like, if I don't like it, I'm gonna just start over. For me, hair is just hair, kinda. Uh, at least in this moment, it's just hair and I'm not afraid to start over. So that's what I'm doing. Now, you might also be wondering, Sarah, you have fresh braids in your hair. What's going on? You're right, they are fresh. I got them done about a week ago and I've been suffering ever since. I got these very beautiful knotless braids done in Ghana last week for a wedding that I was a part of and knotless braids are supposed to be a tension-free hairstyle like that is why they are knotless so that they're not causing too much tension on your head however the lady who was braiding my hair did not understand the concept of not braiding too tight i don't know if many african braiders understand the concept of not braiding too tight but my hair has been uh irritating me since i got them done and i don't know if you can see but like i have like patches in my hair and you know how like when your hair is braided too tight like you get bumps and stuff i have that all over my scalp and uh i really tried to thug this hairstyle out but it's 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 making me miserable i'm scratching a lot and there's just still tension on my head and i want them out i want to be free i want i want to be bald like I, I'm, I'm just i'm over it speaking of bald I don't actually know if I'm going to shave my head completely. I have about five months of new growth on my head. So what I want to do is I want to just cut off the perm first, cut off the relaxer first, and then see what it looks like from there. Honestly, truly, my my heart's desire is to go bald. <laughs> my, my real desire is to be bald and just like literally start from scratch, but I'm gonna cut off the relaxer first and yeah um i told a few people that i was going to do this uh i think a lot of people think that i'm bluffing or a lot of people are just like you know wait till your braids get old or you know just grow out the perm don't cut it uh no i want to cut it so that's what i'm gonna do it's my head so i should be able to do what i want with my head and that is taking all my hair off and being free uh i'm over braids honestly this as beautiful of a job as they did on these braids it made me never want to get braids again <laughs> i was in that chair stuff so okay let me not exaggerate she just braided it too tight you know when you're sitting there getting a hairstyle that's like seven to eight hours long by like hour three you're you're over it and i was certainly over it i'm sick of braids i don't want to wear wigs i don't want to manage my own hair so the solution for me right now is to just go bald 
So right now I'm at work. Uh, I'm supposed to be working. That's what this is. And I'm going to start taking out my braids and I will come back to you guys when my hair is washed and then we'll get to cutting. Okay guys, so my braids are out. Um, honestly, I definitely could have cut a lot closer to my scalp considering the fact that I'm about to cut it all off. But I guess I just wanted to, you know, see my hair one last time before I take it out. I wish it looked like this. It only looks like this because I just took my braids out so my hair is like super frizzy. Um, but of course once I wash and blow dry it, it's gonna go back to that straight relaxed texture which I don't want anymore so this is my final farewell before, I don't know why I'm being dramatic, like I haven't shaved my head before or cut my hair before, but yeah, this is my final farewell before I cut my hair. Um, my scalp is definitely feeling very sensitive and tender right now because the braids, again, were too tight and then of course having to take them out and then comb through my hair just made my scalp hurt. Um, so I'm just gonna chill for a few hours um, technically still on the clock so I'm gonna end my shift at work and then probably rinse my hair after I get off work I'm gonna rinse it first just so I can um, get my roots to revert so I know where to cut and then I'll like fully give it a wash after and I know I said I would cut to my new growth earlier but I don't know I'm a lot more tempted to just like shave down to my scalp only because I'm just like if I cut just the the relaxer off, I, I'm 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 afraid that my hair is gonna be super uneven. But if I shave it down to my scalp, then at least my hair can grow back um, at the same rate. But we'll see. I really wish my hair still looked like this. I never should have relaxed it. Um, it's not like a deep deep regret because obviously I can just cut it and start all over. But I definitely could have avoided that. Um, after I realized that I wasn't gonna be a sewing girl, I just got me a V part wig. Um, so I just would like have a leave out and I definitely could have just done that with my um, natural hair but it is what it is uh, you live and you learn and again it's just hair for me so yeah I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat and then again once I have rinsed my hair and I'm about to cut I will come back to my camera so that you guys can watch the process with me so yeah, my scalp is dry. I don't even think my scalp is all that dry because I, I greased it a few days ago. I think it's just um, I've been scratching so much. So yeah. Okay, you guys, the moment of truth is here. I need to get my eyebrows done. But anyway, uh, my hair is wet and rinsed out. Uh, there's not a very obvious line of demarcation between, I mean, kind of, but not really. I think it's like right here-ish. Um, where my my new growth is but I don't feel like dealing with that so I think I'm just gonna shave the whole thing I'm, I'm gonna start cutting and then see how it goes I just want to shave it off I just want to be free oh no my camera's falling all right here we go first chop I'm just gonna go for it um I feel like the line of demarcation is right here but it still feels like there's a, mm, I'm gonna go bald. <laughs> First chop, here we go. Oh wait, I have to make sure I'm in the camera. I can't see, I need to put my glasses on. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh, okay, I cut a little lower than I needed to, but. Was that on camera, did you see that? Next section, yeah, um, we're just gonna end up getting rid of all of it because <laughs> my hair is gonna be so uneven. Well, maybe not. I mean, yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of cutting with no regard. So we'll just figure out how to even it out. Or I can wear it like this. Oh my gosh, this is so liberating. I feel so free right now. Okay. I'm just using my hand to kind of feel where my hair feels natural and then I'll clean it up later. Yeah, when I was cutting my braids, I was cutting really low and then at some point I got to this section and I just stopped caring and I cut it super close to my scalp because I was just like, well, it's getting cut anyway, so. 
I don't know how long it's gonna take for my hair to grow back, but like I said, my hair grows back pretty fast. I feel like I'm not getting a good angle. Hold on. Okay, so this is my hair picked out. Um, it's not terribly uneven, at least from what I can see. No, I might be giving bald patch in the middle. <laughs> not literally, but but it is. No, it is. This part is more. So I don't actually know what a guard does, so I'm just gonna swipe and hope for the best. I should probably close my door so it doesn't get on the carpet. Is it gonna shave everything? Do I go front to back or front back to front? Let's do back to front. So, so we're shaving it. <laughs> yeah, we're shaving it, if that wasn't clear before. Um, I wanna record this and send it to my friend. The guard didn't do anything. I thought the guard was supposed to protect it from being like a buzz cut, but I don't, and my battery just died, so. This is the final look. <laughs> uh, okay, so my clippers just died, so I'm going to let them charge and then come back and finish, and then I'll show you guys the final look. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that I'm shaving my head and I still have some of the braid parting even though I'm like shaving my head. Do you guys see that? That's how tight the braids were, that the parting is still there. So when I said I was suffering, I meant it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you my head. Don't laugh at me, it's, it's, it's very patchy. Um, I definitely should have gone to a barber and got it professionally done. Um, so you've been warned, um, yeah, so <laughs> this is what I look like, it's very patchy, um, but it is what it is. My clippers keep dying and I'm tired of, uh, I'm tired of having to leave it on the charger, but this is what I look like now. I'm about to wash my hair, well, I'm about to wash my scalp. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to get in the shower and like rinse all the residue off. I really tried to get as even as possible. Um, I took the guard off of, of eventually so like you can tell like where I had a guard on and where I was just using like the regular blade. Is that what it's called? A blade? I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop in the shower and yeah and then I'll be back to wrap this video up. But. I mean, I, I don't care that it's patchy. I was kind of, well, I do care a little bit because I was kind of like wanting to rock the bald look a little bit, but this is too uneven. So I will be wearing a wig until my hair grows a little. Um, and I'm contemplating if I want to dye my hair again. Uh, I don't think I will. I just feel like black is super elite, but I do remember when I, when I had my hair like this low before I dyed it like a copper brown and it was really cute, but I don't know if I want to do that again. Um, my scalp is on fire right now because again my braids were too tight you can kind of still see the parts from the braids in my hair like these little squares is like where my hair was was part um 
so yeah my head is very sensitive right now so i'm if i do dye it it definitely won't be anytime soon because my, my scalp is just super sensitive and inflamed right now and i don't want to um add any bleach to it to make it worse so yeah but i hop in the shower i'll be back to wrap up this video i totally forgot that i said i was gonna wrap up this video i put a scarf and a bonnet on as if i have anything to protect um but yeah this is this is how it looks of course like i said it's very patchy because at some point i took off the guard but the battery on my like right here um the battery on my clippers kept dying and i was over it so i think in about two weeks my hair should have a little bit more coverage because it'll start growing back um and if i decide to cut it again i will probably go to a real barber because i do want to kind of rock the buzz cut for a little bit we'll see um i mean spring just started but the weather is going to get warmer and then summer's going to come so i might want to rock the the buzz cut for a little bit longer and then maybe do that copper color i was telling you guys about but yeah i'm gonna put my scarf and bonnet back on because my head is cold and i feel exposed <laughs> so yeah guys um that's all for today's video um i'm very glad that i did this i feel very free um i put some sulfur eight on my scalp so it's a little bit it's a little it got that little menthol feeling where it feels like there's a breeze going over your head um my only regret is that i didn't just hit up my old barber and tell him to do it because again now it's like super uneven and patchy um and the lines the parts that my braids were in are still very much showing and i don't i don't know if that's an indication of how tight they were or if it's just if that's normal i've never shaved my head after braids so i don't know what the scalp looks like after you get braids but um, it's, a, it's a little bit annoying that that exists and I hope it goes away soon um, And now I'm about to go order a wig off Amazon like an everyday Throw on your head synthetic wig because I don't want to like put on a wig that I actually have to like maintain I just want to have something that I can throw on my head every day because I, I can't rock this as is it's too patchy It's too uneven so now that I'm a baldiana and I didn't do a good job at shaving my head. I need a wig. And I know what you're thinking. Sarah, you're wearing a wig. Um, I need me like an everyday synthetic low maintenance kind of wig. This wig still requires me to glue it down, which is why I'm wearing a hat right now. Um, so I'm on my way to my local beauty supply store to see if I can find something simple, cute, throw it on my head, go about my day. And I'm still kind of weary about taking my camera into stores. I don't know how like each person or each store feels about people recording. So I usually just either use like use my phone or I just don't record at all. So I won't be taking you guys in the store, but uh, I will let you guys know if I find anything. Um, but I suppose if I don't find anything, then I just won't put this in the vlog. Hey guys, so I'm back from the store. Um, I've actually been back for a while and I was just like, hey, I was in the middle of vlogging. Let me go get my camera. I'm a little bit out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. Um, I found a couple wigs to buy. So there's this girl. <sighs> Hold on. <clears throat> <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Um, so there's this girl that I follow on TikTok and also I'm subscribed to her YouTube cha channel. Her name is Shallon and she has this like everyday wig that she wears that everyone thought was her real hair for a long time but um it's like her signature wig um side note i know it's not gonna look my real hair because it's not my texture she wears this like everyday curly wig it's the outre converter cap is it outre yeah outre converter cap um dominican bounce um so i got it in color one and i got it also in this brown color they're called chocolate chocolate swirl I know I'm gonna have to shape it up of course because I don't want it to look like that at all I don't even think I want it to be that long I think shoulder length like at my actual shoulders is fine and what she does is that she like pins it in the front so that there's like a bang um, so she she customizes it of course I'll probably insert a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about actually let me pull up her video um, so while YouTube is forcing me to watch these ads I got some Skittles gummies and these are really good they taste just like Skittles, obviously, but in gummy form, obviously. And I don't know. I think they're better than the original. Maybe because they're softer. I don't know. Oh, here goes the video. Hold on. So this is Shallon. And this is the wig. So yeah, so she cuts it. Yeah, she cuts it. 
and then she customizes it to um, have bangs in the front and then of course um, cut the length and things like that and then I think at some point she puts in like bobby pins so like it looks like her hair guys we're only 16 months so I don't know what she's talking about but that's what I'm gonna do after I get off work also another thing is that she styles her wigs grab your hair clip and I want to be able to do that too. Like obviously it's a wig. You can tell in the back, but cute and quirky. Literally the back is under your business. I the back is under my business. I can't see it. Only you can. You see the back of my hair. That's not my problem. See? It's not my problem. That's not my business. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. I don't give a. F you know who does? Period. That ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> That's not my business. I don't see that. When I look in a mirror, all I see is this. That's all I care about. But this will look fine if you do. That's what I was saying. Hair. I had every intention of savoring these and not eating them in one sitting, but they are so good that I might finish them right now. So good. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so I got bored at work, um, so I decided to put on the wig. I know I look crazy right now. You don't have to tell me that. Still eating these gummies. They smack them. But yeah, so I cut some bangs on this. These gummies are so good. And now I'm gonna bobby pin it down because cutting it made it just <sighs> so I don't know if I like this color on me mm. yeah I don't know if I like this color but we're gonna keep going ow I'm gonna pin it under it's getting very much like 80s 80s mom so far there's this TikTok song that's stuck in my head. I might insert it in this video. I don't know if I'll get copyrighted though. But it's like, pop that up, pop that in. Pop that in. Something like that. Um, so I'm not sure. I haven't trimmed the actual wig aside from the front. But I think it'll... Mm, I think I cut too much, first of all, but I think I can work with it. I don't think I cut the tag either. I think I just need to figure out the bang and I just need it to like lay down a little bit more and then it'll be cute. But I think I did cut too much. But this is the brown one. I wanted to start with it first, just in case I messed it up so that I can at least try again on the black one if this doesn't turn out nice, but I don't know, I still have faith that this can be cute. I think the bang just needs to calm down. And I'm not sure if I like this color. Or maybe I do hate it and I just haven't accepted that yet. But anyway, I was trying to see if it looked okay if I put my glasses on, but I feel like that made it look worse. Um, it might look cute with makeup. I don't know. Sometimes color is hard to pull off um, without makeup. But I really think it's the color. I don't know. It doesn't look terrible, but like, I really feel like this is a good like slap on wig. Like running errands, don't really care what I look like wig. And that's what I was going for. So I have my little headband here. Um, but let's try on the black one. I don't know, is this color, does this color suit me? I feel like it doesn't, it's, it's giving skin. I don't even know what the back look like. What the back look like? I don't know what I look like, but my battery's about to die. Give me one second, and we're gonna come back with the black wig. <sighs> hey guys, so ignore the mess behind me. Um, it's been about a month since are you gonna focus okay it's been about a month since I filmed myself shaving my hair today is April 21st and I shaved it I think on March 20th or whatever so yeah it's been about a month since I shaved my hair and this is how much hair I have now um you know chill a little cut um, I don't know why my edges are bald <laughs> and I don't know why saying that is so funny to me. I do have a little bit of makeup in my hair, um, right here, but like, I feel like my hair is bald here 
and I don't know if it's because my edges are just growing in slower. I did kind of go like super low towards the front of my hair but anyway so here's the thing I thought about keeping my hair this short like forever because honestly after I got my braids done in Ghana and I took them out and I shaved my hair I was just like there's nothing in me that wants hair there's nothing in me that wants to do hair there's nothing in me that wants to take care of and manage hair like just 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 leave me bald I don't I don't want hair anymore but you know I've had some time to you know sit in that thought and let it marinate a little bit and um in my last vlog probably the one before I upload this I was doing my niece's hair and then like last weekend I was helping my sister blow dry her hair and their hair is just so long and beautiful and I was just like I want to have long and beautiful hair too I mean I did before I cut it um or before I relaxed it like my hair was pretty long but like I want it to be like my sister's and her daughters and and even my other niece Kaziya she has locks now but like her hair is getting long too um and before she um locked her hair it was pretty long as well and I'm just like I want to be like you guys so you know I know I know what the bible says about coveting but I kind of want their I want I want what they have but anyway um so oh if you're wondering why I have makeup on it's because I was taking pictures of myself because I am on my second week of bed rest because I had surgery last week in order to keep my sanity I've just been doing things like playing in makeup and taking pictures of myself just to feel better. I'm gonna grow my hair out. There is one length of hair that I did like having and it's when I had my um, blue hair. It was like a very like small fro. Uh, I might maintain that length for a little bit or yeah I mean I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'll cut my hair again. Thought about dyeing it but I don't think I want to do that either. I think I'm just going to I think I'm just going to keep my hair black. But if you see me in a future video with low cut hair and color, I never said this. Everything that I just said never happened. It never happened. It was never said. You can't prove it. I just wanted to come on here show you guys an update, a 1 month update. Um I was going to do like a whole thing of like getting a haircut and get a good getting a design like I was really gonna hit up my barber and get a design and and dye it like a copper copper brown color but yeah I think I want to just grow it out from here but again if I change my mind because I'm very indecisive this video never happened or at least this portion of the video never happened but yeah so this has been my hair cutting adventure I just wanted to come on here and wrap this video up because um yeah, it's been about a month and I'm not going to do all the other stuff that I plan to do with my hair, i.e. cutting it, coloring it and all that stuff. So I was like, let me just come on here and wrap this video up, do a little outro. So that's what we have. I am about to hit stop record and put my SD card in my laptop, edit this vlog and hopefully have it up by Sunday. So yeah, I do look cute though. I do look cute. The, the short hair, it eats. It eats. It eats. It does what it needs to do. But like, I like loving. I like having long hair. And I also used to really like braiding my hair. Even though I would like start to regret it halfway through, because it's just like, why did I sign up for this? Why would I put myself through this? I do like braiding my hair. I do like twisting my hair, like my natural hair. Um, I do like the slick back bun with the middle part. That that always eats. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Bye.